punch needle tools. How do you decide? Oh my gosh, there's so much on the market. At the end of the day, if you're just starting out, the tool that you pick probably will work just fine. You don't need to worry about the specifics just yet. If you turn out that you love it and you want to invest in a tool that you're going to use for a long time, then that's when you want to look into the specifics of which one will work the best for you. One main difference between punch needle tools is an embroidery punch needle versus yarn thickness. So the embroidery punch needle is for very thin yarns of weight one or two or embroidery flats. And that is going to be a different tool than the rest of these. All of these are yarn thickness tools. This is an embroidery punch needle tool. I recommend what is called an ultra punch I haven't tried a lot of embroidery punch needle tools, but I've been told that this is the mother of all and I do like it very much, so I've never really tried other ones. It works really nice. It has adjustable loop lengths, so you can have 12 different loop lengths and it does come with a threader. And this one actually comes with three different needle heads for different sizes of yarn or embroidery floss. This is the thickest one, and then it gets smaller depending on your project. So if you want to do embroidery punch needle, that is the one difference that you will want to know is that you do need a specific tool for embroidery punch needle and I recommend the ultra punch. Outside of that, all of these are yarn thickness tools. You have tools that need threaded and tools that are easy to thread with an open slot in them. And you of course have the Oxfords. There's lots of different options in Oxfords. We'll go over that in a little bit. And then the Craftsman tool, an adjustable handle tool made by Peakdale, and then an SKC tool that you can find on Amazon um, plastic adjustable length. These two require threading. These do not require a threader. The best option I believe at the market right now is your Oxford punch needle tools. They're very popular. They have big ergonomic handles they're, and they're easy to thread with the open slot in the front. And they're just, it's just a nice tool. I used to highly recommend the Peakdale tool as it has adjustability to it. You can try different loop links in one tool and it's more affordable. However, the Peakdale manufacturer has changed their supplier and their quality has gone down considerably. So it still works if you see some on the market. They do still work. The difference now is that they are just, they're using a seamless tube to do this and so they're just banging the heck out of the top to make it to what they need it to be. But they still work okay, they're, they just don't look as nice and they, sometimes they're a little bit sharper at the top. So that's the difference. It's still an okay tool, but their quality has gone down, so I don't necessarily recommend it anymore. I recommend the Oxfords at this time. And we'll go over the sizes and loop lengths in just a little bit. Your other option, and then the SKC and the Craftsman tools, I don't necessarily recommend them. The, the SKC plastic tool, it just doesn't it pops out easily when you work with it and it and you have to thread it with a threader and I just mostly the popping when you as you punch it will move as you punch and I just I didn't really like it the craftsman um, slips easier um, the needle doesn't stay so it can slip as you work while it does have the open slot it doesn't I don't think it's the easiest to thread in my opinion. I have difficulty threading with it. It's it's doable. You can make it work, but I don't really necessarily recommend it. And review, the SKC and the Peakdale do require a threader to use. The Craftsman and the Oxfords do not. Which Oxford do you pick? It sounds more confusing than it really is. There are two different sizes in the Oxfords. You have your regular thickness and you have your fine thickness. So that is where they differ in the first place. The regular thickness has a thicker needle allowing for thicker yarn, yarns. The fine needle is thinner allowing for thinner yarns. So your fine needle, if you are a knitter and you have a lot of worsted weight yarn laying around, your fine needle is probably going to be the one that you want because it, it holds the fine finer yarns better and it has a little eyelet at the bottom to keep it into the slot. 
If you like thicker yarns or you want to work on big projects like big wall art or rugs, then I would recommend the regular thickness. That's the one I like the best. It works up quickly and it uses the thicker yarns, which are plushier and prettier. The second way the Oxfords are sized is their loop length. You will see that there's a number 8, number 9, and number 10 in both regular and fines. And then there's a 13 and 14 in fine. The, 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 the numbering, the 8, 9, 10, 13, and 14, are the loop lengths only. It's going to tell you how big your needle is going to be to see how big your loops are going to be on the other side. While it seems confusing, they really don't differ that much. So your eight is your longest loop length and your 10 is your shortest loop length. And those differ by only one quarter of an inch. So it's not gonna be that much of a difference. So don't stress over what size you want because at the end of the day, it, the, the loops are still gonna look relatively the same. The nine is just somewhere in the middle. And then your 13 and 14s, those are considerably shorter than the number 10. And that's because a lot of times if you have a thinner yarn, your loops are gonna be stringier looking because the, the yarn is thin. And so this is for thinner yarns because your loop doesn't necessarily have to be as long for thinner yarns. And that's why they come in the mini sizes and it can maybe make your yarn last a little bit longer. My favorite is the number eight regular because it creates just a tad bit longer of a loop. So if you're a beginner, it will stick better in the fabric. The more yarn is there, the less chance it will have to come out of the fabric. So I like the eight because it's a little bit easier to learn off of and it stays, the yarn stays in the fabric very nicely. And it, while it's not that big of much bigger of a loop length, it's still just a little bit bigger. So it looks a little plushier and a little bit prettier when you're making things. The number 10 regular is my second favorite in that it, because just that quarter inch gives you a little bit more control over your yarn when you're punching. So if you have a design that you wanna do or lines, the number 10 punch needle works better because your loops are smaller so they have less chance of straying and going different ways in your design. So I feel like I have a little bit more control over my designs for a number 10 regular. And it also takes less yarn because you have shorter loops so you would use less yarn in the end. So the number 8 and the number 10 regulars are what I highly recommend. They work up quick. They're nice tools, nice um, loop lengths, fun to work with. I haven't had a lot of experience in the fine because I mostly work in thicker yarns. But if you, the number 13 and 14 minis are very popular in fine yarns and I believe it's because they, the thinner yarns need a shorter loop. In summary, how do you choose what tool to use? It depends on the type of yarn you want to use. If you want to use a very thin yarn, then you're going to want a fine Oxford punch needle too. If you like the thicker yarns, you could go with the Peakdale, the SKC, or the Craftsman, or any of the regular thickness Oxfords. What kind of project do you want to do? If you want to do a rug, you can do it in the fine thickness of the thinner yarn, but it will take you that much longer because it's quite a bit thinner. So. Uh, the regulars are very popular if you want to make a rug or a pillow. Um, the fines are more popular or even the embroidery punch needle if you want to make a patch or just a little saying on a pillow, something like that. So it kind of depends on the project that you want to use. We'll go over later some of the projects that work for each of the tools later in the modules. <laughs>